We're going to learn how to solve a linear programming problem using the simplex method when it's a standard minimization problem. To make sure it's a standard minimization problem, you need to be minimizing the objective function, all your variables need to be non-negative, and the constraints must all be greater than or equal to a non-negative number. Now, in order to solve this using the simplex method, we have to turn it into a maximization problem. And we do this by creating the dual problem. So first, I'm going to create a simpler version of the standard tableau okay, without the slack variables in it. So the first constraint has coefficients 2, 1, 3, and right hand side 6. The second constraint has coefficients 1, 2, 4, and right hand side 8. The third constraint has coefficients 3, 1, negative 2, and right hand side 4. And then the objective function has coefficients 1, 1, 3. Now, the dual problem will have different variables. They're the variables we would have used as slack variables in the original problem. And to get its tableau, we take this and we transpose it. Okay. So the first column will become the first row. The second column will become the second row. The third column will become the third row. And the fourth column becomes the fourth row. Now, we translate this back. We are now maximizing the objective function 6u plus 8v plus 4w. Notice that those coefficients are the right-hand sides on the original problem. Okay. Our constraints are 2u plus v plus 3w less than or equal to 1. u plus 2v plus w less than or equal to 1. And 3u plus 4v minus 2w less than or equal to 3 with all being non-negative. Now notice something, not only were our objective function coefficients the original right hand sides, okay, but the original objective function coefficients become our new right hand sides. As for the coefficients in the constraint, okay, the coefficients on the first equation are the coefficients as we go down on everything that has an x. Similarly, the second equation would be the coefficients from y. The third equation are the coefficients from z. Okay. Now, in order to solve this, we have to add slack variables in. And the slack variables we are going to add are equal to the variables from the original problem. So we're going to be adding x, y, and z. We also need to rewrite our objective function. As always, we want everything on one side, and we want a positive P. Okay. Now, we set up our initial simplex tableau. U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and P. start solving this using the simplex method. The first step is to find our pivot position. Okay. We pick the column with the largest negative number. Then we take the entries in the column and divide them into the entries in our constant column. So 1 into 1 gives 1, 2 into 1 gives a half, 4 into 3 gives 3 fourths. We pick the smallest of those and that will pick out our pivot position. Now, 
first goal is to turn this into a one. So I'm gonna take row two and multiply it by a half in order to get a one in our pivot position. Our next goal is going to be to take this pivot position and use it to clear out the rest of the columns. And we will start with that step in the next video.